ಶ್ರೀಮತಿಸ್ವಾಮಿಂತನಾಮನೆ ನಮಸ್ತೆ ಸಾರಸ್ವತಿ ದೇವಿ ಗೌರವಾಣಿ ಪ್ರಚಾರಣೆ ನಿರ್ವಿಶೇಷ ಶೂನ್ಯವಾಡಿ ಪಾಶ್ಚಾತ್ಯ ದೇಶ ಕಾರಣೆ ಜಯ ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀ ಅದ್ವೈತ ಸದಾಶಿವಸತಿ ಗೌರವ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ ಹರಿ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರಿ ಸೊ ಟುಡೇ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಸಿ ದ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ನಾರದ ವಿಸಿಟಿಂಗ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಪ್ಯಾಲೇಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ನಾರದ Uh, the experiences that narada had when he visited krishna 16108 palaces okay so since we are doing the 10th canto pastimes of narada muni we have gone with narada muni to dwaraka right now so let's start with an ice breaker uh, can each one of you share an experience of yours that was very astonishing like i can tell you mine it's a very mundane experience the first time i flew okay um i was uh, it was for almost in college and that was the first time i went in a flight and uh, when the flight took off uh, i was seeing the sky and the clouds they looked like balls of sponge uh, like cotton balls they were looking like that and i was so astonished i was looking down all the uh, buildings were like matchboxes <laughs> and uh, it was like as if the plane is flying over balls of cotton uh, and i was looking at the entire thing with an open mouth i had never experienced such a thing so like that everybody has their very first experience of something uh, that they have been like totally carried away by with you know very astonishing very surprising or unforgettable moment your first time experience of something so can you all share something like that unbelievable <laughs> like that yes mruti hey krishna mata ji so mm-hmm. i think one i don't know if this is like a good example but when i first came to krishna consciousness and we went to some rath yatra i think ah. it was like, i felt like it it felt like 100 degrees outside and i'm like how are people standing in this heat how are people pulling this rope in this heat how are people excited and when i asked someone next to me and they're like he no it doesn't seem too hot just maybe like 60 degrees 65 and i'm like how is this possible and how are, how is just like their energy and their enthusiasm driving them in this heat to go so far beautiful beautiful uh when we come to krishna consciousness even the most difficult things appear blissful right so that is astonishing definitely it's a beautiful example that you gave very nice i remember you seeing you in rath yatra too with murthy <laughs> and it was very hot <laughs> that year <Yes. laughs> yeah very nice thank you for sharing that that was sweet anybody else yes aishwarya kallakuri or oh, then balavanda as well sorry i didn't realize you also reach uh, aishwarya please go ahead and then we have balavanda hey krishna mata ji pranams um one experience of mine that was very astonishing was so we went to the alachua temple mm-hmm. here i mean last year and so it was my first time going to darshanarthi mm-hmm. and we had just been there for like uh been in the temple for like a long time and um yeah i was starting to get kind of bored because mm-hmm. i you know up like that morning like very early and it was like my first time mm-hmm. being up at like 4:30 or 4 so then darshanarthi started and like um the shanka and um govinda madhapurusham in the background and um 
it was just um yeah it was a magical experience and I don't think I'll ever forget that it was like very out of the world it was something to behold beautiful very nice sometimes we have those experiences when we visit certain temples the energy of that place is unbelievable and you have such beautiful experiences you feel it's out of the world right yeah very nice thank you ashtaria for sharing that yes and the temple is so beautiful alachwatan the deities are so beautiful thank you mm. yes vinita mataji Hare Krishna, Mataji. So I will share two. One is material and one is spiritual. So material is, as you said, the same thing, Mataji. First time that I sat in the flight. That too without my husband. We, uh, I went alone. Uh, I was like, in the airport itself, I was shocked. First, getting into the international airport, even domestic airport, I never, I never went before. So as soon as I went into the flight, oh my God, everything was, and especially the restroom, it was very tiny. Pull push, I was not able to understand. Inside that, I got stuck. Then it's like two minutes. I was like, how do I get out of it? <laughs> Who's going to help me? Finally, I figured it out, and I came out. It's it's so uh, like some everything is shocking for me when when I landed in Chicago. Mm -hmm. Chicago is full of snow. I don't know how to go to terminal from one terminal to another terminal. Um, I went to one terminal. They said, this is not the terminal you have to go. You have to go to the another terminal. I, 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 di I didn't know how to go again to the train and catch out for the another terminal. I saw outside of the airport, within the airport, but you, you have to go outside uh, to walk in. So uh, it's snowing outside, but still I just took a day step. I ran outside and I went to the another terminal from outside instead of the train. The whole uh, thing, first time when I fly, flew to the US, it's, <laughs> it is shocking for me only. I don't know how I did it, but I did it successfully. I was landed. And the mm -hmm. other one, when first time I saw American devotees chanting these slokas, it was so nice to see. I was not able to pronounce any sloka. But uh, these Americans, they were like pujaris who came to do home program in Birmingham, Alabama. I was shocked how they were dressed up like a pujari, like the, uh, what do you call this, backside, the shika and everything. Oh, Americans, wow, they are so nicely trained up. That that really shocked up me. And, and also, I it gave me a thought, oh, why should I don't chat, chant like them? Oh, they mm -hmm. are doing it very nicely. So bo both the things, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Beautiful, beautiful, very nice company. I mean, I'm amazed that you just flew alone. Uh, that was your first time. <laughs> that must have been quite an experience. And yes, the first time we see American devotees, and they are so, <laughs> so much more sincere than what we can even think of. Yeah, it's a very big inspiration. So thank you, Mataji, for sharing that. Yes, Smriti. Mataji, can I say one more thing? Mm -hmm. So uh, the other day I was doing this dance program thingy and there was with these people that I didn't know. So, uh, and then I was like, oh, okay, there's, because my mom wasn't too keen on doing it. So later we were just doing something and then her mom, and then another person's mom contacted my mom. She was like, oh, Mataji, I say that you're in my, uh, my uh, Bhakti Shastri course. Do you want to meet up sometime? And I was just so astonished because I've never met someone that's, not in my temple that I know in real life. And I was like, what a small world. Ooh. So nice. So nice. Very nice, Mithi. Thank you for sharing that. Yes, indeed, a small world. <laughs> we end up meeting uh, people um, easily, especially when we are in a devotee circle. Yes, Aishwarya, did you have to say something? I don't have anything to say. Okay. Anybody else before we move on to the content of today? Okay, let's move on. Okay, now we can take turns and start reading. So we'll have Hari Priya start. Um, start reading Hari Priya. Uh, Narada sees Krishna in his palace. This chapter relates how Narada Muni was amazed to see the household pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna and how he offered prayers to the Lord. Should I keep reading? Yeah, one paragraph each. Yeah, next, Smriti. Hare Krishna, Mataji. 
After killing the demon Narada, Lord Krishna had simultaneously married 16,000 maidens, and Sage Narada wanted to observe the Lord's diverse activities in this unique family situation. Thus, he went to Dwaraka. Narada entered one of the 16,000 palaces and saw Goddess Rukmini personally rendering menial service to Sri Krishna, despite her being in the company of thousands of maidservants. As soon as Lord Krishna noticed Narada, he got up from his bed, offered obeisances to the sage, and seated him on his own seat. Then the Lord bathed Narada's feet and sprinkled the water on his own head. Such was the exemplary behavior of the Lord. Thank you, Mataji Hare Krishna. Thank you, Hare Krishna. Aishwarya and then Monica. Hare Krishna. After conversing with the Lord for a short while, Narada went to another one of his palaces, where the sage saw Sri Krishna playing at dice with his queen and Uddhava. Going from there to another palace, he found Lord Krishna coddling his infant children. In another palace, he saw him preparing to take a bath. In another, performing fire sacrifices. In another, feeding brahmanas. And in another, eating the remnants left by brahmanas. In one palace, the Lord was performing noontime rituals. In another, quietly chanting the Gayatri Mantra. In another, sleeping on his bed. In another, consulting with his ministers. And in yet another, playing in the water with his female companions. Somewhere, the Lord was giving charity to brahmanas. In another place, he was joking and laughing with his consort. In yet another place, he was meditating on the super soul. Somewhere, he was serving his spiritual masters. In another place, he was arranging for the marriages of his sons and daughters. Somewhere else, he was going out to hunt animals. And elsewhere, he was moving about in disguise to find out what the citizens were thinking. Very nice. Yes, next, Monica. Thank you, Shima. Having seen, having, having seen all this, Narada, Narada addressed Lord Krishna, Only because I have served your lotus feet, can I understand these varieties of your yoga maya potency, which ordinary living beings wilderly, no, bewildered by illusion, illusion cannot begin to Not perceive. Begin. Thus I am most fortunate and I simply desire to travel all over the three worlds chanting the glories of your pastime which purify all the words. Beautiful. Thank you. Sri Krishna asked Narada not to be confused in the vision of the Lord's transcendental appearances and he described to him the purposes of his appearances in this world. He then honored the sage properly according to religious principles, and Narada departed, continuously meditating on the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Very nice. <coughs> so this chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam, 1068 or 69, uh, this particular chapter talks about how Narada Muni had the opportunity to go and witness Krishna's uh, pastimes in the 16,108 palaces. So Krishna married 16,108 queens and he simultaneously was present in each of these palaces. And he was not like a robot. You know, uh, if you have a robot and uh, one robot and you have copies of different robots, imagine you have one robot and there are 50 copies of that robot. Uh, if one robot lifts the hand, the, the remaining 50 will also lift their hand. If one walks, the remaining 50 would also walk because they, were, they are programmed like that. Now, uh, the kind of mystic opulence that Krishna had was nothing like the robotic opulence, okay? Uh, in every palace, he did something very, very different. Now, his 16,108 forms were completely independent of each other, yet they were the same Krishna. <laughs> so that is the inconceivable aspect of Krishna's pastime. And Narada Muni, he was such a great devotee that he was allowed to witness this inconceivable uh, nature of Krishna. So when he went to the 16,108 palaces, he was seen in every palace, Krishna was doing something different and it was the same Krishna. It was the exact same Krishna. Bhagavata mentions that when Krishna enters his palaces, uh, that one Krishna, he becomes 16,000 independent Krishna. 
And then when he has to go to his Sudharma assembly, the 16,000 come and they become one Krishna, <laughs> like that. Uh, so this is the inconceivable nature of the Lord and only the Lord can be like this. We have other great uh, yogis and mystic uh, personalities like Shaubhari Rishi. He could expand into multiple forms to be with his queens. Okay, He also had multiple wives and he had a lot of mystic perfections and he took multiple forms. But then Prabhupada mentions that the kind of uh, mystic power that was uh, exhibited by sages like Shaubhari is nothing in front of the mystic power exhibited the, by the Lord. Hmm. The Lord's forms are completely independent of each other, unlike that of mystic yogis. At the most, mystic yogis can go up to nine forms. Um, that is what Prabhupada writes in the purport. And uh, these these are all copies, you know, those uh, forms that the yogi take, they're all like copies, photocopies. And if one hand ra is raised by one of the forms, all the other uh, forms also raise their hand like that. So they, they are very limited, uh, the, the capability of the most perfected yogi in this world is very limited. But Krishna is Yogeshwara, right? So he's the lord of all the yogis. And uh, he's inconceivable because he's the supreme lord. Now, Krishna's inconceivable nature is expressed in many pastimes, many, many, many pastimes. Like Prabhupada often gives this example of lifting the Govardhan hill. So if someone comes, uh, claims to be Krishna, claims to be God, then the first challenge given to him is, can you lift the Govardhan hill? Right? You're all aware of this. So nobody can claim to be God. God has certain inconceivable powers which no living entity has. However, a great devotee who is surrendered to the Lord is allowed to witness these inconceivable powers like Narada Muni. Narada Muni was allowed to witness the inconceivability of Sri Krishna. That is what we understand from this section. So your group task would be, uh, I want one group uh, to come up with a list of inconceivable pastimes of Krishna. Now these pastimes should be applicable uh, only to God. Like I told you, I just mentioned, right? Like only Krishna can lift the Govardhan hill or only Krishna can expand into 16,108 individual forms, though he is one. Like that, you will have to come up with at least, uh, come up with at least eight different pastimes of Krishna, where Krishna asserted that he is the supreme lord and no mystic or no sage can even compete uh, uh, with the lord. Uh, like certain things that he did which no ordinary human being can do. And hence no person, no jiva can claim himself to be God. For that you have to find at least eight different unique pastimes of Krishna which no human being can do. Mm -hmm. Team 2. Team 2 will list out. You have heard so many classes about Narad Muni. Uh, this entire series has been about Narad Muni. And we started off with different devotees from the first canto. But then when we came to the story of Narad Muni uh, telling his past life to the Akadev, we picked on Narad Muni and we have gone through the entire Bhagavatam. In the entire Srimad Bhagavatam, Narad Muni is present in every single canto. Right? Uh, Vyasadeva has written this treatise of Srimad Bhagavatam as an offering to a spiritual master. So he brings a spiritual master in every canto. So now we are in the 10th canto pastimes of Narada. And Narada uh, has different qualities that he has exhibited through all these different pastimes mentioned in the Bhagavatam till now. You have attended many classes, maybe at least 20 30 classes on Narada Muni. So I want you, one uh, group two, to list those qualities, those devotional qualities of Narada that makes him a fit candidate to actually witness these inconceivable pastimes. Why is this so? It is not really possible for everyone to witness certain special pastimes of the Lord. But a great devotee who surrendered is given that license. And Narada Muni was one such surrendered devotee because he had this... Uh, this opportunity to simultaneously witness everything that was happening in the 16,000 pastimes. So from all that you have learned, come up with the devotional qualities of Narad Muni that made him a fit candidate. That will be group two. 
Group 1 will be listing at least 8 inconceivable pastimes of the Lord, which no human being can do. I mean, if it is something that another human being can do, then don't list it. List only the unique pastimes of Krishna that makes him God. Okay. So we'll give you some time, 15-20 minutes. You can, I'll, I'll do the breakout room or you yeah, can do it. Mataji, did Mataji, shall I open? Sure, sure, you can open. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, in this room four, in the breakout three. So this is team one, that is team two. I already named. Mataji, do you want to go to breakout or shall I go and tell them they are team two? Uh, okay, we can, they only went. Yeah, I think they went. Okay, Monica Pravak Smithy is team two. And team two is going to do uh, uh, Narad Mani's qualities, right? Okay, I'll go there. Yeah. Yeah. So team one know their question, right? Yeah, okay. Oh, I have to allow multiple yeah. share. Multiple sharing I have given. So no need to give you co-host. Um, thank you, Mataji. Okay, so um, I have a good one to start with. So are we going to do a slides or docs or... I think we should do docs. Could we do slides? Because then we can add a little picture of every past time for every past time. True. Okay, so um, should I share the screen or anybody else wants to? Yeah, uh, I, I give multi share. Anybody can share. Yeah. Okay. They don't I'll just. Uh, oh. Um, I don't know. Okay, can you see my screen? No, not yet. Hmm. That's weird. One second. Window. Share. How about now? Can you see it now? Yes, we can see that. Okay, that's great. All right. Um, you Google Sites and we just could we add um, Rama Vimohan Lila? Uh, yeah. yeah, that's definitely a good one. And I was also thinking we could do the, the Vishwarupa. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. And copy link. Um, oh. I just put the link in the chat. So, yeah. Um, okay, so what theme do you guys want to do? Pick, uh, can I pick a theme? I have a really good theme that I can do. Yeah, sure. Your themes are the best. All right. So. So we're doing the Vishva Rupa. Ramha Vimo Haina. Oh, Lila. And what else? Does anybody have any ideas? Ov Kartik. That is so pretty. All right. Um. Hmm. Vishwarupa Brahma Mohan Lila.
Okay. Um, yeah, that's perfect. Is anybody there? Yes, Aishwarya, we are all there. Okay. Um, um since these are like um past times that a lot of us might know, should we add like a lot of explanation or should we just uh, add pictures? Mm. Pictures are good, I think, uh, Hari Priya. It is easier, right, to find a picture and explain from there. Yeah, maybe. I think we should add like a picture of each Leela and then like maybe a short summary. Yeah, like, like a, what? Yeah. Maybe, yeah, maybe one like these... depend upon how much time you left you have in your hands. First, try to put all the pictures and then start writing a one line or two line for each slide. That yeah. way, it's better. Okay, I'll just create all the slides. The Vishwarupa, Brahma Mohan Leela, um, ooh, um, the, there's another time, um, he, Vamanadev. Yeah, that's a really good one. Yeah. Um, I look for pictures for everything. Yeah, okay. Um, is it my computer is acting so weird. I cannot get the link to work. Oh. Um. Can you? Do you want me to share it to like just you? Yeah, that would be good. Okay. So. Yeah, I just shared it. Um, Thanks. And. Could we do the pastime in the Mahabharata when he he's in the um Krishna, like when he went as a messenger and Duryodhana is like all angry and like I'm gonna kill you, and then um Krishna uh, laughs and he grows in size and he's like, could we do that, or would that be too? That'd be a good one. Oh okay. my god. So how about? What should we name that? No. I don't like okay, Krishna's display of power in Doyodana's foolishness. Huh? And Doyodana's foolishness. Yeah, that's good. Rashtras <laughs> Ooh, how about Krishna's response to Duryodhana's foolishness? How about that? That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a good idea. Well, let's make Wait, my computer is really reacting it's so weird right now. Okay, there we go. All right, and let's think. What else? Hmm. Oh, what's the what's the past time we were doing? The last class. Oh, um, the yeah. return of the teacher's son? Yeah, that. That we is a that. good one. That is a good one. Mm -hmm. The return of the guru's son. And hmm, what else? Hmm. The return of the Guru's son. Hmm. Okay. Uh, um, does Brahma Vimoh and Lila look fine? Um, yeah, that looks perfect. 
Well, it's great. Okay, there we go. How about the past of a nursing honey? Because that's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, I like the part at the end. Because um, Hiranya Kashipu got all these boons that he would not be killed at night or day or inside or outside or all these things and the Nushinga killed him at dusk in the doorway. <laughs> it was, I just really liked that part. Me too. Um, what else? We have, like, what? One, two, three, four, five, six. How about, I have an idea. So we could, like, for um stuff that's, like, well-known, you know, like the Vishwarupa and Brahma Mohan Leela, we could... How about we just put pictures and then for like stuff that a lot of people m might not know. Um, well, okay, we could do this like for pastimes that are well known. We don't have to put any text on the slide itself and we could just have the picture. And one of us could like tell this is the Vishwarupa form that Krishna displayed to Arjuna when they were on the battlefield of Kurukshetra. And then for like stuff that's less well known, we could just like put like a, 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 blah, a little blurb and then like maybe text. I mean, maybe pictures. How about that? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Mm -hmm. Okay, so the past time on your Um, Oh, um, Lord Sri Ram lifting Shiva's bow and Vishnu's. We could do that, right? Or yeah, we could. I think that is a good one. Yeah. So the pastime of Lord Sri Ram lifting Shiva's bow. We need a last one. Hmm. How many did we need total? Um, I think we needed eight. And excluding the first one, we have seven. I mean, excluding the first, like the, the title slide. We have like eight, eight slides that we have. So yeah. Um. Okay. Is there anything else we could do? Is there like a pastime where Jagannath eats Chapanbog? Yeah. Yeah, we could do Chapanbog. Lord Jagannath eats Chapanbog. Okay, that's great. Okay, so now we start to look for pictures. So I'm just going to be like, you know. If you want, you could just pause your share on that one screen. Oh yeah, I could just pause my share. I forgot about that. Sorry. Um <laughs> uh, I think
And I'm just going to, like, start putting pictures all over the place. <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, wait. Do you guys want to add an extra one? If you have an idea. Yeah, I, I have like a really great idea. I don't know how I forgot about this, but um, Dropadies. Oh, my God. I know, right? Like, how did we forget about that? Krishna saving Dropadi in the sub hub. Thank Google guys. I got I got my idea from them. What picture are you going to put for slide five? Um, I just found one. Okay, perfect. It's a little blurry, though, but I couldn't find anything else. That's fine. Okay. Um, oops. And um, I found a picture for Krishna rescues uh, his teacher's son. But... Uh -huh. Um, I might have forgotten that past time a little, so either we add a little blurb for that one, or I'm not uh, presenting that one. Yeah, I think that's a little of the less well-known ones, so yeah. Krishna, 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 Okay, we have both teams here. <coughs> Is team one ready with their content? Uh, no, not yet. Oh. We need a few more minutes. Okay. Uh, I hurried up and got the team to here. So team two, if you still want to work on your stuff, please go ahead and keep working till team one gets ready. Okay. Shruti, I think we're good, right? Um, yes, I think we're fine. We have all the stuff. So.
All set? Can someone just find a picture for slide nine and then I think we'll be fine. Okay. I just did a sack. Um for slide nine, I found a picture. Okay. Um, so like we can so the order can just be um me, Karthik, and Herpia, and we could just like, you know, go through that. Sure, okay. Team one will start presenting. And was team... it not... Sorry. Yeah, what was it, Harik? No, I was asking, is it only me and uh, Aishwarya and Karthik in the group? Who's iPad? No. iPad was in which group? I had a movie, right? Mm -hmm. But... I don't know if she's reading because I don't know if his or if her mic is working right. Okay. iPad was in the team two, right? No, team one. No, Mataji. Only oh. me, Monica and Prahala were in team two. Oh, okay, okay, maybe here yeah, only what one. One kid was Prahala. extra. Yeah. I have no mic. Okay. Fine. So now we have team one who will be presenting on uh, some inconceivable pastimes of uh, Sri Krishna. Okay, iPad would like to chat. Yes, iPad, you can share your realizations too. But uh, we'll have the first presentation by team one. Hmm. One second, I'm just getting it set. So can we do it like um, you, then me, then Karthik, and then just keep that order for every slide? Yeah, but we should do that. Um, Haripriya, do you want to share or do you want me to share? Can you see my screen? Okay, Ovi also wants to uh, do a slide. Uh, she can type out the slide. I don't know if that helps. Um, Hare Krishna, so our presentation is about the inconceivable pastimes of Lord Sri Krishna. Oh, okay. The Vishwarupa. Um, was a form, uh, the universal form that Krishna presented um, and showed to Arjuna in the Bhagavad Gita. This form had like um, millions and millions of heads and bodies and it was um, a spectacle that no human being could show. Fantastic. What is the, what is it called? The Vishwarupa Mataji. Very good. Very nice. Wonderful. Only Krishna can show the Vishwarupa. Very nice. Um, Hare Krishna. Another example of one of Lord Krishna's inconceivable pastimes is Brahma Vimohan Lila, which, um, as we know, is when Brahma stole the uh, friends of, and his calves. Um, so Krishna, he expanded himself into the forms of all the boys and all the calves. And the residents of Vrindavan didn't even notice that the children were gone. And then Brahma, he realized this mistake and Krishna revealed um, what he had done to Lord Brahma. And this is inconceivable pastime because only Krishna can expand himself like this into so many forms. Excellent, excellent. Very nice. I never thought of this. <laughs> Very nice. Yes, uh, Ovi. Uh, is it Ovi? She can't speak, but she can say a few things about Ramandev in the chat. 
Meanwhile, uh, Aishwarya continue to speak. This is Karthik. Yeah. Sorry, Karthik. Yeah, let's Karthik. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> um. Vamana Deva was a incarnation of the Lord as a dwarf, and he went to the I forget the the king of the demons. I forget his name. Bye but he, um, thank you. And he asked him for a boon of three steps of land. Mm. And when he took this boon, he expanded himself so that the first step took over the earth, the second step took over the universe. Mm -hmm. And when he had no no more, you know, no more space where he could put his third step, he put it on, um, what is his name? Belly. Thank you. He put it on his head. <laughs> Very nice. Good, Karthik. I, it's interesting that you forgot Belly's name, which is also a good thing, yeah. But you remember Raman Dev, so that is good. <laughs> yeah. Okay, very nice. Krishna's response to Duryodhana's foolishness in Dhritarashtra Sabha. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sorry. When Krishna went as a messenger to Hastinapura, Duryodhana got so infuriated by his words of peace that he was ready to kill Krishna even though he was a peaceful messenger. Krishna laughed at Duryodhana's foolishness and displayed his Vishwarupa, stunning everyone assembled there. Fantastic. Yeah, thank you. It's okay, Ogi. You're listening, you're participating. That is good for us. Thank you. Thank you, Ashwarya. That was a good pastime. Who's next? One second. I lost my window. Um, okay, I found it. Um, so, um, the return of the Guru's son after Sandipani. Okay, that's what I said. After Sandipani Muni had taught Krishna for many years, Krishna asked what Guru Dakshina he should give him. And then Sandipani Muni asked Krishna to find and bring back his son, who had been lost in the ocean many years ago. And of course, uh, Krishna, who is the supreme personality of Godhead, he brought the um, his guru's son back uh, while slaying the ocean demon who had swallowed him. And a normal human being um, would not be able to do this, but since Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead, he can do this. Fantastic. I didn't, even I didn't think about this. It was beautiful. So what's the name of the demon? That I don't know. What is Krishna's conscious name? Oh, yeah, it's Panchajanya. Ah, Krishna's conscious Panchajanya. The demon's name is Panchajana. Okay, Panchajana. From Panchajana, what you get is Panchajana. Very nice. Very good. First time I'm asking the baby. Yeah. Okay, so the first time of Narasim Hadev is a very, very, um, very, very famous and very, very important one. So Prahlad Maharaj was um, a very, very great devotee. And he was the son of the king of the demons, Hiranyakashpu, who is as demoniac as you can get. Mm -hmm. So Hiranyakashpu had performed a lot um, of ascetic penance and he had gained the mercy and boons of Brahma. Mm -hmm. And he asked for a boon that dictated that he could not be killed by any animal, nor man, or like nor human. Um, he cannot be killed during the day or the night. He cannot be killed. Uh, wait, he cannot be killed in the air or on the ground, I think. Mm. And um, he cannot be killed by any weapon. And so Krishna, being the Supreme Personality of Godhead, was able to assume a form that would defy all these um, 
that would defy all these limitations. Mm-hmm. And Krishna, in the form of Narsimhadev, saved his devotee Prahlad. Yeah. And- Remember so many conditions, even better than Hiranyakashipu. Very nice. <laughs> Good job, Aishwarya. Yeah. Next, Karthik. The pastime of Lord Sri Ram lifting Shiva's bow was when Lord Ram was going to ask for Sita's hand, and the requirement was that he had to lift the bow that Sita's father was gifted from. Hmm. <laughs> okay, I forget who he was gifted it from, but he had to lift the bow. Mm-hmm. And it usually took like 3,000, I don't remember if it was 300 or 3,000 men to simply carry the bow. Mm-hmm. And all these other kings tried and none of them, all of them failed. So mm-hmm. what Ram did was he lifted it easily, he strung it, and mm-hmm. then because he was bending it so far to string it, the bow broke. Mm-hmm. Nice. Very nice. Yeah, that was it was given by Parashuram to one of the ancestors on the dynasty of Dashagat and Ramchandra and eventually handed down uh, to uh, sorry, Dashagat. So I'm so sorry. I messed it up. Ja- Janak Maharaj and his ancestors. Okay. I like this one. Lord Jagannath eats Chapan room. That is interesting. I never thought of it. Go ahead. Whoever it is. Um, Hare Krishna. Uh, so every day in Jagannath Puri, they offer like like three times chop and work, right? Or more than that? Mm-hmm. And um, yeah, I wasn't the one who put this line on, so I don't know like what the context was supposed to be. Mm-hmm. But uh, I think it's just um, every day Jagannath, he ha- uh, like, uh, accepts so much bhoga from uh, his devotees lovingly. Yes, and the cooking done there is also perfect. And yes, only miracles around you can offer you, right? I have something to say about this. Yeah. So, um, we have like kind of like um, a direct opposite example of this. Mm-hmm. So I heard a story. Um, so one person walked up to Srila Prabhupada and said, Srila Prabhupada, I'm God. Mm-hmm. So Srila Prabhupada obviously that's not the right thing to say to the to the right person <laughs> and Srila Prabhupada smiled and he said well God God means Krishna Krishna mm. means Jagannath and Jagannath means Chapanbog so if you're God you have to be able to eat Chapanbog so he started serving him Chapanbog and this person he gets like not even halfway into the meal and he's screaming because he has he has the call of nature. Mm-hmm. So then Srila Prabhupada, he he was um he was asking this person to first accept that you're not God mm-hmm. and second surrender to God. So Perfect. Beautiful. I kind of thought about this. Excellent, 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 excellent. Very good. Mm-hmm. Another thing I wanted to add to this was um Chapanmog offering a Chapanmog to the Lord Jagannath is um very powerful, um mm-hmm. as well as the prayers of the devotees because um in 2022 I think my family we uh, we had uh, it's it had been so long since we went to India mm-hmm. uh, we wanted to go to uh, visit temples holy places we wanted to go see our devotees and get some association because we don't get that opportunity here mm-hmm. and um we weren't able to get visa appointments at all uh, our tickets everything got cancelled but um we asked our devotees to pray and then we um promised Jagannath that we'd offer chapan book multiple chapan books in fact and then uh, suddenly um day after uh, we cancelled our ticket we got um, a visa point i know that <laughs> very nice very nice power of Jagannath, right um, very nice Karipya, thank you for sharing that ah krishna saving draupadi during vastraharan mm. 
I think since Karthik and Aishwarya stunts got mixed up earlier, this one would go to Karthik. Mm. Karthik. Oh, I'm sorry, my <laughs> my mic. Okay. Krishna saving Draupadi doing Vashva Haran. Draupadi um, had been gambled away by Yudhisthira in the gambling match between Yudhisthira and Doryodhana. So when Doryodhana ordered Dushishan to bring Draupadi, Dushishan dragged Draupadi into the assembly hall and Karna then suggested that Draupadi be stripped. And Draupadi was trying, holding on to her clothes, trying to keep it from be, from um, becoming naked. And then finally, she just raised both arms and completely surrendered to Krishna. Mm -hmm. And Krishna immediately heard her prayer and appeared there and started giving her various um, saris with beautiful designs. And Dushashan kept pulling and pulling and finally... There was just a huge heap of stories and Dushishan just collapsed. <laughs> yes, very nice, very nice. It's inconceivable. Yeah. Very good, actually. I'm very proud of you all. You did so well. Um, the clarity in your thoughts, uh, the different pastimes you picked, uh, some were very unique and out of the box. The slides, they were so pretty. And uh, you took great care to make, ensure that the pictures were rightly picked. Um, you had even explanations written, like what is the meaning of Vastraharan? <laughs> so I was observing all that, very nice. I mean, this shows your sincerity and how dedicated you are uh, when you're given a task in Krishna consciousness. It's really beautiful. So much to learn from you all. Thank you. Now, team two will do their presentation. Hare Krishna Mataji. Very cool. <laughs> okay. Right. Monica? Oh, sorry. Narada Muni was a kind hearted, loving devotee, devoted to the Lord and an intelligent person. He was very to tolerant with Rupari because he thought him devotional. He taught him devotional service. He was patient when doing this. Mm, he was patient. also very kind to the Maharaj and mm. gave him gave him direct, direction to survive the Tapasya because he was kicked out by his stepmother. <laughs> so sweet. <laughs> he, was, he was a surrendered devotee and he chanted the names like all the time, 24 7, with his Vina. Mm -hmm. He was always traveling here and there mm -hmm. and spreading the Lord's name in past times. Mm -hmm. So he was traveling all the time and he was intelligent. So he made the sons of uh, Prajapati Daksha a devotee and by asking them intelligent questions. So he like, um, he, he was knew he wasn't like supposed to, but he still did it. And right. he, mm -hmm. he made them a devotee. Very nice. That was a unique characteristic that he brought out. Very nice. Mm. So he was the ideal guru and he would uh, help the lowest man elevate to a pure devotee, which mm. shows that he was caring because I know most people think that, that they are, oh, even, oh, all devotees are caring, but mm. you don't, it, it's the truth, but you don't really see a devotee going to the beggar of the street and starting to preach. Oh, please come take this book. Oh, please, please read Bhagavad Gita. Oh, come on, come on. I will help you on your journey to reach Krishna consciousness. And you normally don't see that. And then he was always constantly serving the Lord, both directly and indirectly. If he was not directly serving the feet of the Lord, he was chanting his name, spreading his pastimes, and doing all that to serve the Lord. And he was also very humble and studious because mm. he was... Whenever um, his guru, he, he, he always followed the directions. Whatever his guru said, whatever the elders said, wh whatever anybody else said, he always followed their directions. Even though he was he was a maid servant, he, he was like, oh, even though I'm educated, because that's what we see here, 
Oh, I am smarter than you, so I have every authority to do, and you have um all the I have all the rights to control you in whatever way, I, whichever way I can. But he wasn't like that. Even if he was educated, he stayed home and always um followed the directions of the brainer. Thank you, Mother Jerry Krishna. Thank you, and nice pictures too. So very nice. Can you screen that again? I want to see the quality of the Yeah. Thank you, Smriti. Very nice. So you highlighted top. Eh. See? Um, Smriti, could you share that link in the chat? Because I really like it. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Matachi. <laughs> So he was tolerant, he was kind, surrender, um, chanting the holy names, he was intelligent, ideal guru and ideal disciple, right? Uh, he was constantly serving the Lord indirectly or directly. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. I didn't think through this, uh, but thank you for uh, speaking about how he was actually very clear and following the direction of his spiritual superiors, uh, be it whether in his maid servant uh, son's body or even as Narada Muni, he would follow the instructions of Brahma, meaning like uh, considering Brahma as a superior. Um, and because Narada Muni himself became the social master of so many people, so it is only natural that unless he's a very good student, he cannot become a spiritual master of so many people. So that is actually a unique point that you brought out. So thank you for that. And I like the fact that you brought out a unique, another unique quality, which is intelligence. Intelligence is very, very important for a devotee. Mm. He was very intelligent in making devotees, <laughs> like the sons of Prishapati Daksha. That was a very unique quality. Nice. Very nice. You have thought through this and you have researched, you have remembered all the previous classes. You have picked instances from different cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam. So that's a very good effort. Good job. Good job, team. You did so well. Hmm. Now we'll have team two appreciate okay. what they saw in team one's work and team one appreciate what they saw in team two's work. Um, so I really like those the the layout of the presentation was very nice and I really like those the the different points because I would have never thought of oh it was the, the show. I know the Vishwarupa form and I know the Govardhan one and the Brahma Sahara one but I never thought about the Jagannath Boga because only <laughs> the Lord can truly eat that much food back to back because if I ate no no human no mortal. I don't even think a demigod could eat that much food. So, <laughs> very nice, very nice. Good. Yeah, uh, who is the one who raised him? Um, what could be the team? Go ahead. Go ahead, Monica. That's okay. That's okay, okay, I'll be very quick. Yeah, I really like uh, team uh, A presentation. <laughs> what uh, they have put in pictures and the slides. I like the... One which I did not expect, as Priti Mataji also said, that how Lord Krishna brought, brings his uh, Guru's uh, son. That shows the supremacy of the Lord. Uh, nobody else can do it. That, uh, you know, it's so much you have taught. That's why you were able to get that past time too. And also like has uh, uh, Smriti said, Jagannath Prasadha. And directly that was from Prabhupada, right? You have read it from Prabhupada. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. That's very nice. I really like the PowerPoint and the way you all put in the points. So much to learn from you all. Nice. Very bold. Very well. And also, I would like to thank Haripriya because she did a lot to make the presentation and she did all the, um, she got the theme and she did like the first, um, the first picture. So, yeah. That's a good thing. And Karthik really. as well for giving me really great ideas. Good, good, good. This is so important. Yeah, we glorify what the other person has done. That uh, that's a that's a technique that we have been having since day one in our classes. But to glorify fellow team members is also very important. So thank you for doing that. That way we can cooperate and work together nicely with many people. So it's a good thing. Thank you. And what does uh, team one have to say about team two? I really like team two's presentation. Um, 
they highlighted a lot of the key points of Nard Nardmuni, and I like the pictures. Mm. And I felt like how they explained was very clear, and um, it got the point across very well. Yes, it got the point across very well. I agree to it. Yeah, Monica kept raising her hand. Yes, Monica, go ahead. The team team one's work was very good because there's so many stories mm -hmm. and so many so many like very good ones. You didn't expect so many stories and their pictures and font was very nice. Yes, I love the stories too. <laughs> and the pictures. Yes, yes Hare Kriya. Um Hare Krishna Mataji. I really liked how um Deem to organize their thing. Uh, thing like um there wasn't too much information, but there wasn't too little information either. And like, um, yeah, as always, they highlighted it, um, who spoke, and they made it look really nice. And I also like the pictures. Yes, uh, you're right. Uh, they've got very good organization skills because I've seen this in the past also, the way they highlight things, the way they uh, divide things between themselves. Very, very neat. Good job. Yeah, I agree. Yes, Benita Mataji. Yeah, uh, Hare Krishna, Kate. So, so, so team two, I really like how you have taken out the glories of Narada Muni, how he's an ideal, um, uh, ideal disciple for his spiritual master and also so humble. Uh, even though having such a great quality, he's distributing to everyone. He's, he's able to give Krishna to everyone, but he's not having that pride in it. Like, let's say... in present uh, material world let's say me if i if i would be able to do three four uh, de devotees i think oh i am the great person i'm able to cultivate them or they are becoming devotees because of me you know that kind of pride he does not have anything all that you have shown in your mm, in your points that you have highlighted and how he's so much into giving krishna to everyone that is the main point that you have highlighted on the top showing that how he's loving caring to all these fallen souls thank you team two i have learned so many beautiful points from you all and the pictures that you put in down is very nice only the difference that is a slideshow and this is a uh, document but it doesn't you know usually document presentation makes uh look it low it, it doesn't uh, appeal so much to the press uh, to the viewers but it does it, see if you see both of them uh we're able to attract the uh, other person the opposite person can easily um, get captivated by your presentation even it's either it's a document or a powerpoint uh, that's uh, creativity i saw in documents also very beautiful very good yes, the document was very creative i agree totally very much yes. yes good very good people you did so well so let's uh, quickly look at the summary which is just one line and this is the most obvious thing of today's class that's it. Krishna's greatness uh, is of inconceivable nature. So what makes God God? We are not able to understand God makes him God. <laughs> if, he's, if he's conceivable, then he's not God. Because he's inconceivable, he remains God. Does it make sense? God cannot be someone whom you can conceive. Krishna is naturally inconceivable, so he's God. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we are going to meet again tomorrow, check not tomorrow, next week, next Monday with another topic, maybe Narad Muni or maybe we'll jump to a different devotee, I'm not sure, um, but we'll let you know. Okay? We'll end here. Thank you all for the beautiful participation. Vansha Ganpatharu Deshya Kripasa Nihubhya Vacha Adhidana Pavane Bhya Vaishnavi Bhya Namo Namaha. Hare Krishna. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Thank you Priti Mataji. Thank you kids. Bye-bye. See you next Tuesday again. Hare Bhul. Hare Krishna Mataji. Hari bol.